Hello, Jin News Agency. I'm Margaret Owen talking to you from London and I want to congratulate you on your seventh year birthday when you started your Jin News Women's Agency. You're really important to tell all the women of the world and the serious men in the world who understand the importance of gender equality and women's empowerment about what you're all doing. And I'm talking to you on the seventh, second anniversary of the terrible murder of Marse Amini in Tehran at the hands of the moral police. And all around the world, people protested at her murder. And they called out all around the world, women, life, liberty, Jin Jinyana Azadi. And yet hardly anybody understood that that incredible slogan that motivated protests from all over the world did not originate in Iran. It originated in Kurdistan. It's a slogan that was coined by Abdullah Ocalan, your Kurdish leader, who is still in prison in his 25th year of unlawful confinement on the Isle of Imrali. And the Kurdish women's revolution is now threatened by the femicide that Turkey is conducting, not just in Turkey, but in Syria and in northern Iraq. And while the world protested about the killing of Marse Amini, it hardly raised a protest about the brutal killing, murder by a Turkish sniper of that great woman academic researcher and writer, Nagian Arkase in Sulaymaniyah who was the one who founded the genealogy, the Science of Women Academy, the Genealogy Academy. And the man who worked for the Turkish intelligence agency, the MIT, he's never ever been prosecuted or convicted either in, by the Iraqi uh, KRG authorities nor by Turkey. But Again, I congratulate you for what you're doing because the Kurdish woman's revolution and the writings of your leader, Ertelun, are models for every country in the world. We know we must get rid of the dominant male and that we have no hope of a peaceful, free and democratic society unless said to it are women's empowerment and gender equality. And you are telling the world through your covering of what is happening with the brave women activists who are being targeted in Turkey and in Syria and northern Iraq. Thank you, congratulations and good luck. Hi there, I'm Eva Schoenfeld, speaking to you from the sunny beach in Portobello in Edinburgh in Scotland. Um, and I just wanted to add my uh, congratulations to Gin News on its anniversary and my uh, deep appreciation for this organisation that has worked so hard and in so many um, creative and imaginative ways to bring the voices of women to the fore and uh, to look at the news in a way that tries to uh, reimagine uh, how we create information, how we communicate with one another, how we tell stories. Um, how we understand things better in a way that doesn't stem from patriarchy but stems from the river of, river of life that we all uh, come from and rely on and need so so completely to uh, to survive so happy anniversary thank you for all the work that you do uh, sending you lots and lots of love from scotland bye bye uh, hello friends, my name is Hanan Osman. I am from Nowruz Association in Lebanon. Dear friends, on the editorial staff of Jin News, warm greetings. 
on the occasion of the seventh anniversary of the launch of your distinguished website, Gini News, we are very pleased to extend our sincere con congratulations and the blessings to you, stressing our firm confidence in the continuation of a brilliant giving and a brilliant achievement that you have on the society in general and in women in particular. While your work carries a lot of value and a lot of freedom for equality and peace and progress, allow me on this occasion to also pay a tribute to the great group of female writers who work within the space of your distinguished website and have contributed to its progress. Happy anniversary to all of you, hoping that you will continue with such a strong for a new world in which women are free and for the sake of humanizing our existence and for spreading the value of love, peace, justice, and equality. Thank you so much, and once again, happy anniversary. Rojbuna Pirozbe to Jin News, who is such an important part of the Kurdish women's movement, which is itself central and vital to the Kurdish movement as a whole. Jin News and the Kurdish women's movement have not only put women at the centre of a new positive radical politics, but have also put radicalism into the centre of feminist politics. Feminism without radicalism is just a reproduction of old hierarchies with a new caste, but radical feminism offers a new way of being for women and for society as a whole. Many happy returns, Jin News, and keep up the good work. Dear comrades, I wish you all the best for your anniversary. As a socialist woman, as a feminist and as a journalist, I know the value of your work. It's so important that we have spaces in which we can dream, learn, write, criticize and bring our truths to the world together. Your work has a far reaching impact. I know of women in Europe who, thanks to your work, found the courage not to accept patriarchal violence as a given, but they stand up and fight against it, to break free and to free themselves. If we do not free ourselves, it will have no consequences for us, wrote a man for the working class. This also applies to us as women and as queer people. And that is precisely why Jin News and the work of all female and queer journalists is so important. Our stories make visible what otherwise remains hidden. We speak out what many otherwise feel. We give the feeling of injustice words. And when we can name it, we can begin to fight together. So let us continue our work while dancing. Let us celebrate this work and these successes. Herr Bigi Genius, Herr Bigi, all our females and queer journalists.